Hi everyone and welcome back. It's Vicky here with the flower card today. I will be using the Alte New stamp set. This is the Hibiscus Build the Flower. It is a layering stamp set and there is a guide at the back that you can follow so that you know exactly the steps and which uh, layer goes on top of each one. Before I go ahead and do all the stamping, I will work on a panel that uh, will be the background for my flowers. For that, I will be working with this stencil. This is um, the Deco Wallpaper Stencil by Altenew. I used purple tape to secure the stencil and my cardstock. And now I'm going to apply with my spatula texture paste in white. So I'm going for a white on white look and I want to keep this uh, quite random. So I'm not going to cover up the whole area. I'm just applying uh, some paste randomly on one side of my card. Now white on white is going to give um, just enough texture at the background, but it's not going to look busy. Let's peel off the stencil and see what we got here. And here is a lovely and very subtle design on one side of my panel. And now I'm going to use the gold spray to add some splashes on my card base. Before you use it, make sure that you shake it well because all that mica sits at the bottom. Now I'm going to add some splashes. I'm not going to spray on top of it. And since I don't want to have this, those splashes all over the place, I'm going to cover some areas. This is going to dry and it's going to give a beautiful golden shine. So my background is ready, I'm going to leave it to dry and let's start with the stamping. I'm starting with the leaves and the leaves consist of four layers. So I will be using all four colors from the Tropical Forest uh, oval set. Uh, you can get these uh, inks in uh, the big oval sets that, like the ones that I have here, but they are also available in uh, small ink cubes. I am turning my paper so that I can end up having three leaves and then I will start using the next layers. So I started with bamboo. This layer is with parrot. I am going to use olive and I will end up with moss for the last layer. Now I am going to stamp three flowers. Each flower is going to use different oval sets so I will end up with a really colorful flower bouquet. For my first flower I will be using shades of purple oval set. And for the next flowers, I will be using eggs from Cherry Blossom and from Warm and Cozy. So uh, you will find links to all the ink uh, sets that I used down below in the description area. And I'm going to link you to both those oval sets, which are the big ones, as well as to the small ones, the ink cubes. So every time I'm working with one layer, I am uh, stamping on uh, the three flowers just by turning the paper and then move on to the next layer until I end up having three flowers with all those beautiful shades. Now the hibiscus flower actually consists of six different layers. I'm not going to use six different uh, inks for each one of those flowers. I'm using just the four of them and for the last two layers I will stamp uh, twice with the same darkest ink that I have. So you see I'm going to stamp one more time, which is going to make it look darker. And I have my layer there without having to grab another ink. Now it is time to do the die cutting. For that I will be using my uh, super adorable die cutting machine. This is the Mini Cherry Blossom by Altenew. And you can see that it fits nicely, both the flower as well as the leaves. Now I have all my die cuts ready to go, three flowers and three leaves, so it's time to play around on top of my card to decide how everything is going to go. I am going to stick all the flowers with some foam squares at the back to add some dimension. But I'm going to stick the leaves with some glue so that um, they lay flat on top of my card. Now this way I end up having different layers of uh, cutouts which give a beautiful dimension on my card. As you can see now, I'm also curling up just a little bit the leaves. And uh, I decided to go with glue at the back of the leaves instead of uh, tape adhesive, just because I'm trying to stick those on top of that uh, texture paste. So I think that um, this way they are going to be nicely secured. Now I need to add a sentiment. For that I used Thank You from the same stamp set. I white embossed it on a thin strip of black paper 
I'm going to stick it on top of my panel by using some foam tape at the back. And depending on the sentiment that you add on top, this would uh, work for pretty much any occasion. And to finish it off, I'm using my Nouveau Drops to add some gold dots at the center of my flower. So that's it for today. Don't forget you will find links to everything I used down below in the description area as well as on my blog. And there is a giveaway running on my blog for a chance to win a gift certificate for Alte New, so make sure to visit and leave me a comment there. Here are some close-up photos of the card that I made today. Thank you all so much for watching and I hope you will all have a lovely day.